Hello, this is Summer Art Academy at the Knoxville Museum of Art. My name is Miss Hannah and I will be teaching Draw, Paint and Sculpt Part 5 for 3 and 4 year olds. Welcome back artists. Again, my name is Miss Hannah. This is our last session of Draw, Paint and Sculpt. Today we will be learning new ways to transform and add to art when we think we are done. Are you ready? For this project you are going to need the glue relief that you made before. Your glue should now be dry, and what we will be doing is we will be adding colors. Now I used food coloring, yellow, red, and blue are primary colors, but you can also use liquid watercolor or get regular paint and mix it with some water um, to make this work. I then have a pipette, one for each color, and I am just going to drip my color onto my page. There's my yellow. You can make liquid color um, darker or lighter by either adding more color or more water. I'm just going to squirt the page. I've chosen to put my paper on a tray. It's not necessary, but it is nice when you're using a lot of liquid to have something to catch it when you pick up your paper. I'm going to add a little bit more to mine, a little bit more pigment. And what you'll see is that the glue is pushing the water away. And once it dries, you'll be able to see your drawing. Friends, for this project, it has multiple parts. The first thing I want you to do is get a pencil and a small square, or even if you have a circle, and you're gonna draw some pictures. You can draw anything you want. I'm gonna draw a triangle. And then I'm going to add some details to my triangle by drawing some lines inside. The only thing you cannot draw is a number or a letter. So just use lines to draw shapes. You can draw things like houses, trees, something from nature. You could draw pets or an other animals. But just avoid writing anything. So I want you to do a few drawings. I'm gonna do a circle now. The more lines and details you add, the cooler the next part will look. It's really important that you press down pretty hard. If you make a lot of light lines, like if I do a light line, I can go back over it and make it darker. But try to draw as dark as you can. Once you have three or four drawings you like, Go ahead, set them to a side, and you're gonna get out your Sculpey. Sculpey is another type of clay. It's a synthetic clay that someone made in a factory. And what's cool about Sculpey is that we have to bake it in the oven with an adult's permission. So I'm gonna take my Sculpey and work it in my hands to get it nice and soft. Roll it into a ball. Flatten it into a pancake. So we're getting two hands pressed down. Flip it over. Two hands pressed down. And then roll it out to make it nice and even. You want it to be about as thick as your pointer finger. Mine's, my pointer finger is thicker than yours. Um, so I'm going for about a quarter inch thickness which is gonna be about the thickness of your second finger right here. Next step is I'm gonna take my drawing, put it down where the drawing is touching the clay, so the back, the blank part is pointing towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna put down all of my drawings onto my clay. Next, I'm gonna take my spoon. I want you to practice on your hand first. 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna rub your spoon on the back of the paper to create heat. So you don't have to do it hard, but you wanna put enough pressure and enough motion that you're creating heat on the back of the paper. Can you feel that on your hand? Once you have an idea of what that feels like, rub your spoon along the back of your papers. Do every single one a couple of times. Next, I'm going to pick up each drawing and you will have a print on your Sculpey. If you're happy with it, you can cut it with a knife and get it ready to go in the oven. If you don't like it, you can actually wad your Sculpey back up and start over. It'll erase your drawing. Once you have your clay cut out, you'll put these on a baking sheet and bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes at about 200 degrees. When they are out and have cooled, you can take a magnet, peel off the sticky back, and put it on, but only after you've baked the clay. Thank you for joining me for Draw, Paint, and Sculpt. Today we finished our series by making magnets out of our drawings and creating a painting using glue. During Draw, Paint, and Sculpt, we used a variety of art materials to learn to make different types of art. Artists, I hope you enjoyed yourselves and will continue making. Mm -hmm.